I've been in the school long enough that I was a four and I was also a 12, and it was both the highlight of my day when I was young and when I was 12. This is probably one of the best jobs you will have at City and Country. I mean, for me, it was my favorite job. The program's been going on, I think, for about 65 years. The 12 Sports job is an incredibly integral part of the school day and of the school as a whole. The 12s begin the year with the 4s observing, just to learn what the 4s room is all about. They're observing what the 4s are like, what their days are like, what their routines are like, how the teachers speak with the 4s. 12s really observe the teachers and pick up the language that the teachers are using and really, in a sense, kind of become that extra teacher in the room. The 12s are learning how to be teaching assistants. Kind of like mentor them, we were who they looked up to. We were almost like a second teacher. I help them build sometimes, but most of the time we're encouraged to let them do it themselves to give them independence. They would come help us in our classroom. She comes in at in work time and reads books. They kind of help us a lot. We'd go in and work with them with blocks. We'd watch them paint, we'd watch them draw or do clay. And then at three o'clock, we'd walk them down to their caregivers and we'd say goodbye. This job is a very real job. The authenticity of it is one of the things that makes it so powerful and to fit in so beautifully with the jobs program overall. The Twelves are role models. They are modeling for the Fours how to talk to each other, how to problem solve, how to negotiate. The Fours, they really do look up to you. They'll listen to you. Like, they really like respect you. Both the Fours turning five and the 12s turning 13 are a really magical moment in their development and they meet each other in this very special place. The relationships that they forge with each other serve as, in a strange way, mirrors for each other. The 12s and the 4s are at similar developmental precipices where they're both yearning for independence but they still need the support of the adults around them. If you look at the developmental chart for growth, of young people. You get to the fours and there's a spike, and you get to the twelves and there's a spike. And any kind of spike in development causes a disequilibrium. They get reassurance from one another. Fours, they change very quickly, but you would assume like, oh, since I'm much older, I have a more like fixed personality. But now that I realize it, I've changed like reflecting upon myself just like the fours do. We're discovering who we are as like teenagers and they're figuring out who they are as kids, like young kids. We can each learn things from each other. The fours can learn how to be more mature as they're moving on to the fives, and the twelves can learn how to just relax and not stress out as much as they're moving on to the thirteens. Being responsible for a smaller child really gives them the opportunity to think beyond themselves, and that's a big ask for a 12-year-old, for an adolescent. The 12s really see themselves in the 4s, and they have these moments of self-reflection as a result. The 12s can see moments of sensitivity that teachers don't necessarily see because of their lens and their perspective. They take on a huge amount of responsibility when it comes to the 4s. They're constantly sacrificing their own needs and wants. Working with fours sort of gives you an idea of what you were like as a four. It taught me that I need to learn how to be responsible for others. Playing with a four, it like brings back my imagination as well. If we didn't know the twelve, we wouldn't be able to do all these cool stuff with them like, like now we do. During the year, the fours group teachers go in to speak with the twelves without the fours being there and hear from the twelves what they have questions about, what they're observing and what they're sensing in the classroom. It gives our lower school teachers an opportunity to really connect with what's happening in the upper school. From an administrator's point of view, that's really important. I think the conversations that our fours teachers have with twelves teachers are big conversations and important conversations and help often bring us back to the values that unify all of us in the school. The good thing that the community looks forward to the most about the 12s Fours job is the 12s make a play for the Fours. They put it on for the whole community. It's a big part of our December. We work closely with the Rhythms teachers to put it together. 
There's a mural that they paint for the floors for the background. Put your jacket on the ground, put your hands in the hole, and flip it, and zip it. The play was really fun for me because we put ourselves in the four shoes to see what they would like. And at the end of the year, there's a party with the fours, their parents, and then the twelves and our parents. And we get to just reflect on our year with the fours and get to watch the winter play again. One parent did say to me one year, this is actually our favorite family film. My children have seen it eight times. One of the things that makes the twelves program unique is it's very explicitly just about service and about helping, and yet it's also often the one that people who've graduated remember with the most fondness. It's very different from all of the other jobs, very important, and it's needed. I think that it adds to the community of the school in a very profound way. It's impossible to know what kind of a world our children are going to inherit, but through the 12s Fours job, they're regularly practicing empathy. And through that practice, they develop problem-solving skills, they develop skills needed for collaboration. We know those are going to be necessary skills in their future, and we know that they're going to go out into their world confidently equipped with those skills.